Welcome back to my channel, Lifestyle Designs with Teresa. On this channel, I share lifestyle content, home decorating, home styling, and more. If you love and like this type of content, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, push the notification button so that you will be aware when I upload new videos. Now, today is going to be Fall Lee's Tear Tray Collaboration. It is hosted by the Grace Life DIY Home Decor, the Bar Cabasa Home Living, Lifestyle Designs with Teresa, which is I, Debbie Bubbles, Sandy Lynn's Home and Garden, Joyful Decor by Denise, and May's Design Corner. So guys, I am going to be setting up my fall tea tray here, guys. I hope you like it. I will have a list of the co-hosts and the hosts in my description box, guys. Don't forget to go out and watch all the other ladies' videos. And also, please give the video a thumbs up. When you come in to watch the video, if you can, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. This really helps us out a lot and helps us to get our videos into circulation. You know that we could not do this without you all. So we really depend on you all, our audience, to help us out. So as I always say, guys, you know me. In every video, many blessings to you and your family. Now, I'm going to start off with this tear tray that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. It was in the $5 section. It was actually brown. I painted it white. Me, myself, just wanted a different color. Then I painted the stem on it gold. So now you're going to see me go ahead. I, I had already had a lot of items on stock, stock, but when I stopped into Rose's department store the other day, they had this whole list section of signs along with the beads for $2.99. It had three signs in there and the beads, and you could not go wrong with that. So I had to purchase. So I did get these signs which are absolutely beautiful signs, I must say, from Rose's department store. And I'm just trying to see how I want to get them on here. You know, because sometimes the teal trays be small and you're trying to fit everything in the way you like it and the way it can be seen. Because that's one thing, when you're setting up a teal tray, you want mostly everything to be item to be seen. Now, all items may not be able to be fully seen, but you want all items to be seen. So I hope you all have been having a great day thus far. Mine has been good thus far. It has been a pretty day. Of course, it's still hot outside. But other than that, my day has been real great. So the lighting that I have, the orange lighting, I got that from Dollar Tree maybe about three years ago. And it does light up. It's getting a little dull, but it still does light up. Now, the bigger pumpkins there, I already had those on hand. Also, the little small blue and orange pumpkin that says thankful on there. I already had that on hand as well. When you say pumpkins, I have them on hand. So now I'm just seeing how I can fit all this together. And I love the sign that says give thanks and the one that says hello fall. And I'm just showing you here that it does light up. Of course, it's not as strong as it was a couple of years ago, but it does light up. But I really think it's still good to use it as decor especially on a teal tray. So now you see me coming in with this other sign. Like I said, there were three signs came to the pack um, that I bought from Rose's department store. I thought that was an absolutely deal, guys. And now I'll be putting in the back one of the pumpkins that I already had on hand. And pretty much with the same texture. And here I have a smaller pumpkin, a darker one. And let's see how we're going to fit this in. 
because like I say, with the smaller chill trays, you're really trying to maneuver, maneuver around and figure how you're going to fit them in. But it's going to be done and it's looking good so far. I'm loving it. So now I'm going to place some floors in here because the pumpkin that I have in my hand does have blue in it. So I wanted to go ahead and put a blue floor there. You're going to see me switch things around a little because I do have some cream color leaves that um, I got from Dollar Tree a couple of years ago. In fact, I got a, several bushels of it. I used some in my front area, and now I'm going to use some on this teal tray. And I think this is coming along absolutely beautiful with the blue florals. Absolutely beautiful. So good so far. Loving it. Now, here are those fall leaves I got from Dollar Tree about three years ago. Like I said, I got quite a few bunches of them several years ago because I figured they would be good with any color setting, whether it's a dark green, burgundy, orange, blue, it will go in with those colors well. So I'm trying to get these leaves something like a whimsical look. I don't want them to lay flat. I want them to stick up. But I also want my signs to show as much as possible. And here you'll see me just switching things around. So now I have the small pumpkin where you can see the um, thankful on there up front. So we're going to leave that pumpkin there. We're going to put in another leaf here in the middle section. Like I said, just giving it that whimsical look. And now I'm just going to look over, see how it looks. See if this is exactly how I want it to look before I start adding any more items in. And it's like it's so delicate. I mean, you have to be really, really careful because you don't want things to move around. So now you'll see me put these beads, like I said, I got the signs, the three signs and the beads came in the pack at Rose's Department Store for $2.99. I definitely will be checking for other seasons to see if they do the same thing for other seasons because that was a great bargain to have some items on hand for a small tier tray. This is absolutely beautiful. It turned out beautiful. So now you're going to see me put a couple of signs here. One is I Love Fall. I purchased that sign um, some years ago. I want to believe that sign came from Hobby Lobby several years ago. So I'm just getting a chance to use it this year, so I'm thankful for that. And of course, you see I have my stack of books, and we know that this comes from the Dollar Tree or Dollar Twenty Five. but I thought those were absolutely cute, and I love them. So I did pick up on one set of books from the um, Dollar Tree. I should have picked up a couple of them, but I figured one would just be fine. That should do. So I'm just straightening out things, trying to get it to the way I like it, my likings, uh, where everything is straight and looks pretty good. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get to the reveal. Sensitive, but I can sense a fit. 